the best day of my life. You know, now we got this killer off the street. After about a month on the run, one of Wisconsin's most wanted is now behind bars. And that is our big story tonight at 9. So glad you're with us. A first step towards justice. The U.S. Marshals have arrested the man Racine police say shot and killed a mother of six last month. That was the man he was arrested this morning in Chicago. Sam Kramer joining us live in Racine. And Sam, you spoke with the victim's father who's relieved tonight, right? Yeah, hi there, Mary. Brittany Booker's father says it was the best day of his life. His family and this community know nothing will bring her back, but he says having her accused killer in custody is a good place to start. Outside Brittany Booker's former home. I miss my daughter opening that door for me. Good morning, Dad. You know, the text messages or you coming by, what we eating today. Her father, Leonard Larry, balances memories with reality. Sunday, exactly four weeks after Booker was found dead nearby, Larry returned to pack up her things, an emotional experience that suddenly took on a different meaning. Best day of my life, you know, now we got this kill off the street. Let's just hope the justice system don't fail me. Sunday morning, the U.S. Marshals announced they arrested Booker's suspected killer, 41-year-old Terry Jackson, after a brief standoff in Chicago. Racine police named Jackson as the suspect just hours into their investigation. Police Chief Maurice Robinson wouldn't share why, but did tell us this. What I can say is during the course of an extensive interview, he did offer a confession. Detectives believe Jackson beat Booker and another woman with a hammer in February. Then police say Jackson returned on April 24th and shot and killed Booker. While police searched five states for Jackson, the Racine community mourned Booker's death. A vigil brought dozens together in her memory. Come Sunday, the balloons and signs have faded, but the quest for justice is only starting. To think of anybody receiving that kind of violence, but particular a mother of, of six young children who will now go the rest of their life without their mother. It is heartbreaking, and I think the community and her family are crying out for justice to be served. Now, Chief Robinson did add that Jackson will be extradited to Racine County, but he couldn't say when. Three women have already been charged with helping Jackson avoid police related to this case, and Chief Robinson says more people could face similar charges. We're live tonight outside the Racine Police Department. Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. All right, Sam, thank you.